Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Monday, May 22nd. We begin the service of morning prayer on page 12. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. We say together, Almighty, Almighty and most merciful Father, Father we, have we have erred and strayed in your ways like lost sheep. We have we followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no help in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises. Declare to all people Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant the most merciful Father for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, to repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. On page 16, you'll find the Pascha Nostrum. And we'll say the Pascha Nostrum together. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, and the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord, Hallelujah. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. We'll now have the psalm readings. There are several psalms this morning, and so let's begin. Uh, the first psalm appointed for today is Psalm 52, uh, found um, on page 335. We will read these by half verse. Why do you boast, you tyrant? That you can do evil. For as the goodness of God, in the psalm of day long, your tongue devises wickedness. You have loved unrighteousness more than goodness, and the God of lies more than truth. You, you have loved to speak love. all words that hurt. Oh, oh you sweet little tongue. tongue. Therefore, God shall destroy you forever. He when shall come back to you and love you, and the you up. The righteous also shall see this and fear. Behold, this is the one who did not take God for his strength, but a trusted in all As for me, I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. My trust is in the tender mercy of God forever. I will always give thanks unto you for what you have done. Psalm 53. The fool has said in his heart, 
They are corrupt who have become abominable in their wickedness. God has looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see But they have all gone astray. They have all together become abominable. Have they no knowledge, all the workers of evil? Who read up my people and call on They were afraid where no fear was. For you have put them to shame. Oh, that salvation were given unto Israel out of Zion. Oh, then shall Jacob rejoice and Israel shall be And Psalm 54. Save me, O God, for your name's sake. And that it should make your strength. Hear my prayer, O God. And hearken For the arrogant have risen up against me. And that I should not have God in Speed up in my life. Behold, God is my helper. He shall repay the evil of my enemies. A free will offering will I give you. And for he has delivered me out of all my trouble. And my eyes is seen the ruin of my enemies. Glory be to the Father. And to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. And as it was to be, it is now, and we have a world without a day. Amen. The lesson for today <clears throat> is a reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, beginning with the 12th chapter, the first verse Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. In the meantime, when so many thousands of the people had gathered together that they were trampling one another, he began to say to his disciples first, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed on the housetops. Have no fear. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body and after that have nothing more that they can do. <clears throat> but I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies and not one of them is forgotten before God? Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, you are of more value than many sparrows. And not acknowledge Christ before men. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man, also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But the one who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And when they bring you before the synagogues and the rulers and the authorities, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. The parable of the rich fool. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or arbiter over you? And he said to them, Take care and be on your guard against all covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. And he told them a parable, saying, The land of a rich man produced plentifully. And he thought to himself, what shall I do, for I have nowhere to store my crops? And he said, I will do this. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, 
You have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. <clears throat> but God said to him, Fool, this night your soul is required of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Do not be anxious. And he said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you are not able to do as small a thing as this, why are you anxious about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass, which is alive in the field today, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, nor be worried. For all the nations of the world seek after these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Indeed, seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your God's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the needy. Provide yourselves with money bags that you do not grow old. What a treasure in heaven that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The word of the Lord. Thank, Thank you. you. The canticle this morning is number six, the Dinius S on page 84. 84. Eighty-four, page eighty-four. And we'll say this together. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you create everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being, and yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Amen. And on page 20 we have the Apostles' Creed. Page 20. We say together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended to heaven and is seated to the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. 
Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people stain with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Now we have a time for prayer. In particular, we pray for Christ the King. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and your many blessings. And then we particularly thank you for sending us a new uh, associate rector. And I ask that you would bring Kyle and his family to us safely, timely. And I pray that they would like it here. Heavenly Father, I lift up this congregation, the body of faithful people who are faithful to you, who come together Sunday after Sunday, meeting after meeting, study after study. It's just an amazing thing to see this congregation's dedication and love of you, God, our Savior and King. I ask that you would continue to anoint us with your Holy Spirit so that we may reach out uh, to others that we may, um, as we meet people every day that may be new or old friends, that we have the courage to invite them to come to church to learn more about you and your love, grace, and mercy. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we, we thank you for the many blessings you have poured over Christ the King. We ask you to continue to guide us, uh, to show us as we try to put one foot in front of the other and stay in the moment instead of uh, worrying about the future, that you would uh, continue to guide us and show us how to stay in your will, um, how to be your people and to do and say the things you would have us do. Uh, show us each day how to pray for each other and to start each day with a prayer of thanksgiving for the healings worked and the miracles worked in our families and in our church family. Uh, let us never take these miracles for granted. Um, give us hearts that are full of thankfulness and help us to live our lives in a way that bring others into um, curiosity about what it means to live in relationship with you and to walk through our doors or the door of any church where the gospel is preached in a pure way so that they come into relationship with you. We ask this in your name. We continue with the general thanksgiving, and the general thanksgiving is found on page 25. Page 25. We say together, Almighty God, Father of our mercies, we are unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your measurable love. 
in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. We pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.